Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is our new video about a story of grade nine AL, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. We will start with introduction about the story. The main characters of the story are Dr. Manet, Charles Darney, his daughter Lucy Manet, uh, Laurie, Mr. Laurie, Monsieur Devarge, Madame Devarge, and we will see some secondary character, characters like Sidney, like Sidney Carton and uh, Parser and so many other characters. Let's start with the, with the introduction. A Tale of Two Cities was written in 1859. It is the only historical novel that Charles Dickens wrote. It is based on the French Revolution. In the novel, Dickens shows the poor conditions of the poor peasants in France during that period. He also shows the struggle of the poor against the novels of France at, of that, at that time. The title of the novel is very significant for the following reasons. The two cities that are meant in the title are London and Paris. The two cities had many bad features in common at that time. Both cities suffered from poor conditions, oppression, poverty, and crime. The characters and the incidents of the novel are in a rapid transfer between London and Paris all the time. The actions that take place in London have their effects on the people of Paris and the vice versa. Let's have or see a brief summary about the story. It's the year 1775, and social problems outbreak both France and England. A messenger from Terrison's bank stops the Dover mail coach with an urgent message for Jervis Lorry. The message asks Laurie to wait at Dover for a young woman, and Laurie responds with the mysterious words recalled to life. At Dover, Laurie meets Lucy Manette, that's the daughter of Dr. Manette, and tells her that her father, whom she thinks did, has been discovered in France. Laurie accompanies Lucy to Paris, where they meet Defarge a former servant of Dr. Manette, who has kept Manette safe in a small room. We will see that, that Dr. Manette was kept in prison for 18 years for a crime he hasn't done. He hasn't done anything wrong. When they see him, they find the wreck of an old man who had completely forgotten about his past and believes he was a showmaker. Dr. Manet was driven mad by 18 years in the Pastille. The Pastille was a famous prison, prison in France at that time, and it was a symbol of oppression. Mr. Laurie tells Lucy that her love and devotion can recall her father to life, and indeed they do. Five years later, back in London where Dr. Manette is recovering, Mr. Laurie and Lucy are witnesses at the trail of Charles Darnie. Darnie is accused of treasons against the English crown. Finally, Charles Darnie is acquitted through the quick intelligence of Sidney Carton, a drunk good-for-nothing lawyer. 
Sydney cartoon bears a remarkable resemblance to Charles Downey. Charles Downey was a French marquis, but he works for his living in England because he hates the oppression of the poor people there. We will see that Charles Downey is related to Evermont family. That's the rich family, and it was a symbol of oppression also. Downey and Carton looked the same in appearance, but were completely different in character. However, both of them have fallen in love with Lucy. Carton is jealous of Downey because the latter enjoys a good social position, has, a good, has good friends, and above all, loved by Lucy. We find Carton a careless young man who cares for no man, on earth and no man on earth cares for him, cares for him. The clouds of the coming revolution darken the skies. So much was the oppression in France that the French led by people such as the Farge and his wife are preparing to rebel. The clouds of the revolution darken the skies and predicting heavy rain of blood. While the Manette family is having dinner with Donnie, Carton and Mr. Lorry, they all think they have heard the sound of footsteps, hundreds of people coming towards them. It is a prediction from Dickens about their coming suffering. Monsieur de Marquis, the cruel Marquis Evermond runs down a child with his carriage. The Marquis shows no regret, but instead curses the peasants and hurries home to his chateau, where he awaits the arrival of his nephew Donny from England. Arriving later that night, Donny curses his uncle and the French aristocracy for its inhuman treatment of the people. He announces his intention to return to England. That night, the Marquis is murdered. The murderer has left the note signed with the nickname adopted by French revolutionaries, Jax. That was the nickname of the, that was given to the revolutionaries, Jax. Two promises. Charles Downey proposes to marry Lucy. He promises Dr. Manet not to separate them after marriage. Carton, who loves Lucy too, but knows that he is unworthy of her, promises Lucy that if ever it is necessary, he will give his life for a life you love. And we will see later that he will sacrifice his life to save her beloved Charles Downey. Dr. Manette tells Downey that he will give his blessing to that marriage if Lucy loves Downey. However, Dr. Manette relapses due to his fear of losing his child again. Knitting. A new spy is sent by, to Saint Antoine in Paris. It is John Parsad, who was one of the witnesses at Downey's trail in London. Devage and his wife are shocked to know from him that Charles Downey, the nephew of the murdered Marquis, is getting married to Lucy Manet. Miss Devage immediately nets the names of Lucy and Donny in her secret list beside the name of John Parson. Before the wedding day, Charlie, Charlie's uncovered his real identity to Dr. Manet as the new Marquis of St. Evermont. Donny's words had a great effect on Dr. Manet, who loses his mind again once more he becomes a shoemaker, but then he recovers after nine years. Revolution. Meanwhile, conditions in France are getting worse. 
the revolution breaks out against the nobles. Many nobles escape from France for their lives. The poor people damage everything in a wild rage. The crowds rise and move to the Bastille, the symbol of oppression, and set the chateau of the Marquis on fire. That's the end of our introduction. And inshallah, in our new video, we will start with the chapter one, the mysterious message. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to put like to the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you, inshallah, in the next video.